Well, it's May here in Georgia and uh, spring has sprung. It's really gotten green here very quickly. And I wanted to just post a quick video to show you guys that spring is also a great time to go out and forage for wild edibles. There are a lot of wild edible plants that are available. Um, just wanted to show you a few of them that are available and I'm finding them growing around right around my house. So come with me, I'm gonna show you what we can find to eat. Now there's um, just growing right here on the side of the house. There are a couple of different wild plants that we can eat. Now this first one right here looks like clover. It's got these lobed leaves. This is wood sorrel and it is a really good edible. Also has these small little yellow flowers. These haven't blossomed yet, but that's wood sorrel. You can eat that. It's pretty good. It's um, a little bit sour though. But it's a good wild green. Now's a good time to get it because it's tender, it's young. And when they get older, as with most wild edibles, they will later on in the summer, they tend to get more stronger in flavor and a lot tougher and more fibrous. But right now they're good. And take you, come on, let's find some more. Now, here's, here's some more wild edibles. Now, these tall plants you see, kind of spindly, are actually wild lettuce. And um, I'm going to pop one of the leaves off here so you can see it. But that's it. And these, they also have these little yellow blooms on top, although these are, some of them look like they bloomed and some of them haven't. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Just a natural weed. But, you can eat those as well. Not bad. A little bit bitter though. They tend to come out now. Uh, later on in the summer, though, for some reason, they just, just don't seem around. I think they go away or they get too big and too fibrous, too tough to eat. But right now, they're a good edible. Let's see what else we can find around here. Oh, here's another one growing right by the back door. This little weed right here is called chickweed. And it's got these really distinctive little white flowers. You see that little flower, how small it is. That's, that's the chickweed flower. Real tiny little white petals. But those are good to eat too. Kind of a long spindly plant. But it's got a really kind of earthy flavor, but it's mild and it's nice. It's not harsh and bitter. So, we've got the makings of a wild salad. But there's more. Let's see what else we can find. Just walking down these steps. It's just there's wild edibles all over the place out here. I'm stepping over them. Wild lettuce. Seeing more chickweed. Oh, here's another one. You all know this one. This is the ubiquitous clover. Very common. Very good uh, edible as well. That's good. It's almost that kind of a... Um, I don't want to say a cucumber flavor, but it's good. Oh, here's one that everybody should be familiar with. This is the dandelion. And you see it's kind of got these leaves that almost look like a barbed spear point. Um, 
whole thing is edible. Plants, or the leaves, flowers, and the roots. That's not bad. It can get bitter, but this stuff's got kind of a sweet, sort of sweet with a slight tinge of bitterness to it. But not bad. Actually very mild. Yeah, there's, there's so much wild greens just growing around in my yard. I mean, shoot, you could sit out here and make salads and you'd have plenty to eat. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to mow the grass because the neighbors are not um, too happy with my landscaping, but oh, look what we just found here. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, see that? That little red berry right there, that is wild strawberry. I wasn't expecting them to be out this early, but they're here. Not really, not really like the strawberries you get at the grocery store. There's another one. Try that one. A little bit of sweetness, but not, not as good as the grocery store variety, but hey, it's food. Well, here's some more wild lettuce growing underneath my back porch. It's, uh, sometimes the leaves have a little bit different shape. I don't know if they're different species, but not bad. More chickweed too, I'm seeing a bunch of it out here. So there's plenty of food to be had out here and just in my backyard. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at some of the wild edibles that are available out there uh, in your own backyard. Um, if you're interested in pursuing more of this, learning more about it, get some books on it. There's plenty of them out there and uh, start going out learning to identify these wild edibles and you'll find that there is food to be had just all pretty much all over the place if you know what to look for. Anyway, enjoy. Thanks for watching.